Hi, we'd like to welcome you to Wild Wednesday Live. Um, and it's actually a Wednesday. We're not at a show. We're in studio again this week. Um, we have three fabulous um, vendors that we're going to be interviewing. Raylene from Quilters Haven, um, Yasmita from Yazzy Bags, and um, Suzanne from Calico Cupboards. So we'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us. Um, a couple of things I want to remind you about is if you ever miss a live, you can go to the YouTube channel and watch it. And if if you remember that you you learned something at some point, you can go back and rewatch all of those YouTube tutorials. Um, and what else? Um, I think that's kind of it to begin with. You know, we always love roll, roll call. So let us know where you're from. Here I've got, I'm gonna put my comments on so I can see where you girls are from. Hi, Beverly Ann, how are you? She's from Ohio. Um, you're the furthest one away right now, Beverly Ann. Um, hi, Ellen Jane. Um, Sparks, that's right up my, up near me. Um, Diana Hensley from Alabama. Um, hi, girls. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, we are still doing October, um, Christmas in October. So we've got some fun, um, quick Christmas tutorials and some already made gifts because you know you want to get ahead of the game and um, get your gifts before you're desperate like me. Wait, Don't wait till the 23rd of December. Get them now. Um, and hopefully we've got lots of fun projects and I've got some tips and tricks um, that I'm going to tell you later on in the show. And we've got some fabulous door prizes. So I'm just going to turn it right over to Raylene from Quilters Haven and let her get started with her demo. Hey, Raylene, hey. how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, it's so weird to be talking to you on the um, computer screen and not in live person. <laughs> I know. I don't like it this way as well. I Maybe. like it a lot better when we're together. But yeah, soon, for sure. Soon. For sure. Um, I yeah. love those poinsettias back behind you. Those are fabulous. Yeah. That was just a last minute, oh, I need something Christmassy behind me. And of course, our lighting today isn't good. Those are actually two pillows. Okay. <laughs> and I, I saw you pinning up your panel earlier. I was I laughing because we had just been doing that same last minute going, we need something Christmassy. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I have nothing to pin it to. And then so I left the quilts up, but I should have taken them down. So, but whatever, you guys just get what you get. <laughs> exactly. At this point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to turn it right over to you so you can show us what you have. Sounds like a plan. All right. Hi, guys. It's good to see everybody. And I, I've been kind of watching the comments, too. We've got uh, people from all over the place and it looks like people are still getting joined on. So but, uh, you know, we've had a lot of great ideas in our first two weeks on the show for uh, quick and easy gifts that you can make. But, you know, a lot of times all your your uh, friends that you want to give gifts to are actually your fellow quilters who are making the same things you are. So sometimes you need some non homemade gifts just for secret pal or stocking stuffers or whatever. So I'm going to share with you some items that are fairly new that have come in just over the last couple of weeks that are great last minute gifts that don't break the bank. So starting with of course, um, everything that I show you today, our special is going to be 20% off till midnight Friday. And it's everything in our gift category. So everything, when you go to the either quiltershaven.net or justnotions.com, click on gifts. Everything in that category is 20% off for the next 48 or so hours. So starting with, if you have friends you watch Wild Wednesday with, we have the Wild Wednesday mugs. Those are in there and they are part of the sale for these next two days. Um, a really fun little gift item that came in just right before our last show at Inland Empire. So these are pretty new for us. They are these really super cute rubber keychains and they come in a set of three and I think they're like $5.79. I should have wrote the price down, but they are so cute because they're not on any kind of a card or anything. They're just in a Ziploc bag. So, you know, you could buy a set of three and give them to three different people, but they're super cute and very inexpensive. Um, also, playing cards. We've actually had these Bonnie Hunters for a while. Let's make sure the glare, you can kind of see them. Um, but now we have these new, um, they're Harold's Journey from the book that, let's see, those are not, I'm getting quite a, a little bit more glare up if I tip it down. There we go. We're having a little bit of a lighting issue today. But uh, playing cards are a really fun gift, $5.99 a pack. And then, of course, they would be 20% off of that. Um, also, one of my favorite little gift items, this has actually been out for a couple of months, but uh, Hemline Company put out this really adorable 
gift set that has a tape measure, scissors, a thimble, a thread cutter pendant, and some needles. Really packaged nicely to give as a gift. And the regular price on that is $23.99. Again, you'll get 20% off up until Friday. And just came in today. I'm sorry, I've got this little basket in front of me with all this stuff. These are so darn cute. They're a hummingbird needle threader. And they come in blue or they come in kind of a lavender color and also kind of a teal color. I'm trying to tip them so you can kind of see them. But again, it's a little needle threader, but it also has a thread cutter on it. And they're only $2.99. So great, great little gift item. Um, another favorite, actually two other favorites of mine are put out by Clover. <laughs> this one is this really fancy needle threader. And they're very ornate. They're really pretty. They're kind of an antique, you know, gold look. Those make a really nice gift. These sell for a regular price, $7.60. Or my favorite of the two is actually, this is actually a thread cutter pendant. So it's a piece of jewelry. So you can just have that on your neck. If you're traveling, it looks like jewelry. It's going to look really attractive with whatever outfit you're wearing, but it's actually a thread cutter. And that is $7.80 regular price. And then, of course, this is an old item that we've had a long time that you guys have shown you guys before. But it's another great little, you know, stocking stuffer secret pal gift. It's the Needle Beetle Needle Threader. And those are $5.29 regular price. Those come in yellow, pink, and, you know, is it green, Ron? Yellow, pink, and green. <laughs> I had a brain melt down there for a minute. We also have... Um, these really cute little keychains for quilters. There's actually several, several different styles um, that are on the website. These are kind of hard to show, but there's a real good picture of each one that's available right on the website. And they're $4.95 regular price. So that's some real good fun items. Um, these next items, you know, a lot of times we don't think about giving a package of gift cards as a gift. Because who doesn't need just some blank note cards from time to time? And we've got two fairly new ones in. Now, these are both thank you cards, but they are so darn cute. Can you see that? They're blank inside. They come, let me double check how many is in the package. Ten cards with envelopes, and they are a six fifty. dollars So that you know, runs $0.65 cents a card. That's really good if you've bought cards recently. Or this is the second one. They are both just so, so cute. And again, these are all on the website, so you can get a little bit better picture of them when you go on the website. Again, regular price is $6.50, and it's 20% off of that. And then we have some other um, really fun, just blank on the inside gift cards. These are pretty much all occasion. Those first two I showed you were thank yous. Um, starting with this one, there, these are eight, eight cards and eight envelopes, and a little bit larger, also $6.50. But this one is really cute. It's a wheelbarrow full of flowers and water cans and stuff. So that's a really cute one that we have. This one and kind of the front is like a crazy quilt design. So it's really cute. I've been trying to pick my favorite, but they're also cute. And then this one, the way they've done it, it's like a stack of different quilts. So you see kind of the rolled edge on those five different quilts. So that one's really fun. And then this is actually one of my favorites. This is a, a very patriotic along the top. It says we the people. So those are fun too. Again, these are great all occasion uh, gift cards and who can't use some gift cards from time to time. Um, also, um, I think it was last week that I've shown you the Riley, the Riley uh, Blake notebook that came in right before the show. And a few of you guys ordered these, and I do still have a couple of these left. Remember, this is a hardcover book on front and back, and all the pages inside are graph paper so that you can use it to help um, design your different ideas, put your things together, and you've got it you know, right there where you can go back and reference it later. Um, these sell for $19.85, and then, of course, it will be 20% off of that with our, our Wild Wednesday sale. And this time of year, I always get in these terrific calendar planners, the date books that we all used to pick up at the Hallmark store for free back in the olden days. Well, um, my distributor every year has these really cute two-year planners. They also have just like a scratch pad in them. So if you need to make some notes, but this year they are the cutest they have ever been. So I'm going to show you, I've got seven different styles. They sell for 540. So then it would be 20% off of that. Um, this one's really cute. It says so much to do. And these are all two-year planners. So that way you can plan all the shows and all your events and classes far, far in advance. Um, this one doesn't say anything on it, but it's just real cute. <laughs> it's just a cute quilt pattern. 
again, a two-year planner for 22 and 23. This one is a little different, just a quilt pattern design. Uh, let's see. This one says I'm working on my PhD. I know none of us have any of that, have any PhDs. It says projects half done, as we all know, that's what PhD stands for in quilting. And let's see, we're going to move on here. This one is really cute with the lilacs. And almost done here. This is another just a older quilt pattern. It's really cute. And this one is nice and bright and cheerful in the sunflowers. So again, these all, all these little items make really super great gifts for those people that you don't want to make them something because they're making all the same stuff you are. I know we all have, I have, the, you know, we've all got that one friend that you see something really great that you want to make them. And before you even think about it twice, they're showing you that they made it for themselves. So, so today my focus was really just on items that are already made. They're not expensive. You can you know, buy a handful of them while they're on sale and have them on hand even to give over the holidays. Or, you know, the planners are great items to have on hand if someone maybe drops in unexpectedly and you like to have a little gift bag for those unexpected gifts around the holidays. So once again, you're just going to go to our website, justnotions.com or quiltershaven.net. Both take you to the same spot. Click on the gift category and you'll have 20% off until midnight on Friday. And if you don't see something I showed today or if you have questions, you can email me right through the website and I generally can get back to you uh, within an hour or so, just depending on whether I'm driving or not. So that's all I have for you. Perfect. That's pretty exciting. I love, I love how beautiful that gift set is. I think I might have to get one of those. Oh, for my and you know, you just reminded me of something else. I have another fabulous um, gift set that didn't come in and it's supposed to be here probably, hopefully by Monday. So when you go to the gift tab, scroll down, it's in a black gift box. It's just gorgeous. And I was really disappointed because I had hoped to show both of those, but uh, make sure you check that one out on the website as well. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We're going to, um, I, do you have anything else you want to say? Anything that, did I forget anything? You're always so good at saying stuff and I just say whatever, whatever comes to my mind. Well, that, the only reason I say whatever comes to my mind is because I wrote it down on a piece of paper in front of me or otherwise I don't remember anything. Uh, that's, a true statement. Um, that's a true statement. It just, yeah, notes are good. Notes are good. You might need to get the planner girls so that you can write notes in. Exactly. Right. Right. Well, you know, okay. everybody says, use your phone, use your phone, use your phone. Well, that's all well and good. But what if I don't know where my phone is? I'm sorry. Right. I've got to have it in paper. I'm an old fashioned gal. So me too. We still use carbon paper at my shop. Okay. We I'm not that backwards, really, but really old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> I'm the one. They keep it in stock because of oh, me. That's funny. Yes. That's yep. not funny. Okay. All right. We're going to put you behind, but first I want to, I want to make sure that we thank mm -hmm. you for all of your donations, um, for the goodie bags and door prizes. And I don't know if the ladies really have kept track, but I'm super thankful because you donate goodies and door prizes every single week. You are crazy. You're crazy, well, but thank you. we appreciate it. And the ladies love it. <laughs> That's why I don't make any money. I just give everything away. Uh, yes, I enjoy yes. doing it. So, <laughs> right, right. You're much more generous than me, girls. I'm going to charge you for everything. Uh, all right. Um, we will see you in a little bit. We'll bring you we'll back at the very end. So, if you girls have any questions for Raylene, write them down on a piece of paper so that you can type them in at the end of the show. All right, Raylene. We'll see you in a bit. See you then. Okay. All right. And then, um, I do have a couple of tips. Ron reminded me um, that I need tips for you girls. So I've got a couple of tips. Um, one, well, I just cheated and I stole them off somebody else's um, uh, website. But the um, the number one tip, the, their number one tip, so I guess it's our number one tip today, is um, that we, um, if, if a lot of us are from so far away that, um, that we need an online community where we can um, show what we're doing. And I know that we have some great plans, Raylene and I have talked about it, and we're gonna have a show where we tell you all of these great ideas. Um, but in the meantime, you can post what you're working on on the Wild, um, the Wild Wednesday Live Facebook page. But if you want a more interactive, small community kind of a, of a 
thing. Fabric Chicks does do on Sunday. We do a Sunday Zoom from one to three. And if you go to the Fabric Chicks Stitch Along, you can just um, join there and we post the link for the Zoom on um, Sundays. Uh, I, we usually post it on Saturdays, I think, but um, it's a great place where you can chit chat with the, all the ladies who are on this and who joined the Wild Wednesday Live and um, get ideas. If you have questions, you can pick people's brains, but any kind of an online community is great for you to, um, to keep inspired and keep doing things. And it kind of gives you somebody to keep you um, in uh in check so that you keep your projects going and you keep sewing and you keep inspired and all that good stuff so that's my um number one tip is join an online community where you can sew pe with people who have your same interests and then the second tip which is the tip i just um kind of i think is important especially this year because we are having kind of a crazy year you all know we're all experiencing it but we um I think we should start a movement where we give, um, we, we intentionally make gifts to give away. Um, a lot of us are buying things, expensive things at um, the box stores and really I don't need anything. Um, if I wanted it, I already went out and bought it probably. So, but I love handmade gifts. Not that I'm telling you girls to start sending me handmade gifts, um, but I love handmade gifts. So I think that that's important and we should incorporate that um, this, this holiday season is to take time to make things personal. And then I'll give you more tips later, but we're gonna go to Yasmita, um, Yazzy Bags, and let's see what she has for us today. Hi there, Yasmita, how are you? Good, very well, thank you. And uh, we've had an hour's time difference here in Australia. So I did get an extra hour today and I'm glad because I did Good. not set my alarm. So that worked out perfectly for me. Perfect, but, uh, perfect. I do so you're have some fresh. Yeah, I am fresh, I'm okay today. <laughs> I did get a bit of a scare this morning and Raylene helped me out. But what I'd like to tell Raylene is that I do have a little video to share. So she has to make that sort of possible for me and we'll do that in a few minutes. Uh, I'll just start introducing the program, the episode, like what the segment I'm bringing in today. I'm quite excited. Firstly, from a Christmas, like a holiday uh, season, we've got a lot of our bags that are in the green and red color. That's part of our seven color range. So if ever you're looking at something more appropriate from a gift idea, we've got 38 craft bags that work fabulously as gifts. Now, I also wanted to tell you that we've got a coupon that's out there, which is called YAZ13, Y-A-Z-1-3. And that includes these two-piece pouches. So that's $12.50 on our website, and you will get that free if you reach your minimum spend of $50 in your cart. Uh, no, that one is $75. Otherwise, it's free postage for over $50. You'll have to read the terms and conditions. So they're quite a nice little extra gift where you can keep your little projects around or give it as a gift idea during the holiday season. Every crafter loves these little pouches of ours and I love it when I see them 10 years later, they come to the shows with either their stash in it or they keep their uh, projects, their little hexes. And it's just been an amazing addition and that complements all our products. We've got three sets of pouches that you can look at on our website. The next thing is we've got a fabulous gift idea today for the winner, this, it's our ID Money Wallet Pouch, which has been, we will be playing a little video for you to show you exactly how it works. But I know this particular one that's in Navy, I've used it for 13 years at every trip I've made to the States for the shows. Now it's put away because I'm not traveling anywhere. But I just thought about it that I'm always looking for a place to keep my mask as I'm going out for dinner or for a walk or something. And there's four pockets in here. So I should be able to comfortably keep my mask tucked in here, dust free. So I'm going to add that as part of my description for this product soon. I just think it's a fabulous and I'm not sure why for a long time. I mean, I might just sell two a month actually of these bags. 
and this week and last week, we've ended up selling 17 of them. I think it's this little video that's going around that everyone suddenly said, oh, yeah, well, that's a good bag for me. Even at this stage, when you're just going out very quickly, it carries a lot. My phone, my Kindle, my car keys, my credit cards, and my mask. It's very lightweight. It's a crossbody one. So have a look at it. And the code is CA255. And uh, the next thing is, we're going to be part of the Quilt Pro Connection in January. It's a virtual show um, in the US, so do look out for that. We're part of the Australian sewing community, and that is ASC. So if any of you want to join our Facebook groups, we've got a lot of exciting projects and stuff that come up. We arrange virtual retreats. Guess what? After three months out of a severe lockdown, we're going to, at 11.59 today, we are allowed in Melbourne, Victoria, in Australia, to go out tomorrow and actually enjoy a little bit of freedom now. There's still some restrictions, but nothing like the five kilometer radius and uh, zero person in your home. And whatever it is, we definitely are excited about tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to a big night out tomorrow. And now I'm going to start this little video, and I hope you enjoy what I've brought to you today. I did plan it so that you get to see a few of our products, and they're perfect uh, gift ideas for you.
All right, Yasmita. Um, turn your microphone back. Yep, there you go. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Yes, I do. I just wanted to say that these are the kits that have come into the U.S. now. We're doing very well with the Sashiko kits, and they're available on our website. We've just got a new website for anyone that's ordering. We're sending out a 16-page catalog with all our products included in the website. Great gift ideas. We're also working on some Sashiko uh, Australian uh, inspired indigenous designs panels. This one will just send you the panels. We're still working on it, so look for them on our website. But apart from that, I think that accessory pouch as a giveaway today, it's retails at $35. We've had so many orders, suddenly everyone's woken up to that particular bag. And I'm glad because it's really undiscovered. For many years during the shows, I see all the customers plus the vendors using it. And then even I totally forgot over COVID about it because it's been tucked away. But I think everyone will enjoy it. It's a perfect gift ideas if you do go on small trips or something. But apart from that, I'm here at the end to answer any questions to you. Okay, bye perfect. for now. Perfect, thank you. We'll see you in a minute. Um, we'll bring you back at the very end. So girls, if you have any questions for Yasmita, um, type them in when we go to our little Brady Bunch style of asking questions at the end. Um, okay, so I know you girls are all waiting for this. I can see that, um, that like your brains are just thinking, what's the code word? What's the code word? Oh my God, did I miss it? You didn't miss it. We didn't give it yet but I'm gonna give it right now. So pay attention and, and type it in as fast as you can. No, actually you can type it in as slow as you want. Um, that it's handmade. So the word for today is handmade. If you're new to joining us, just type in handmade um, and then um, Raylene will go back through and she'll gather up everybody who typed that in and we'll have, um, gosh, I think there's like five prizes today. So I think there'll be probably about five winners for um, all the different prizes. We'll go over all the different prizes in a minute because I know you guys aren't even listening to me. You're just typing in handmade, handmade, handmade. Only type it in once. If you type it in more than once, we're, you get disqualified. So only type it in once. And you have to make sure that you come back and check Wild Wednesday Live, um, the same place you are right now, come back and check in a few hours to see if you're a winner. Um, otherwise, uh, Raylene, who's much nicer than me, spends a lot of time trying to track you girls down. Um, Norma, I'm glad you were able to make it. I know life is crazy, uh, but we're glad you made it. Um, and a perfect idea, get the planners Raylene hat was showing so that you can highlight every Wednesday. Um, because we don't want you to miss one of these Wednesdays. But if you do, you can always go to our YouTube channel and watch it there. Um, and also, uh, there was somebody who said that they came, they almost missed Wild Wednesday Live. So make sure that you set your alarms. Um, my alarm, I know Raylene would probably like it if I set it a little bit sooner, but my alarm goes off at 1.50 every um, Wednesday so that I can get ready for this. Um, I know she thinks I do homework to get ready, but I don't really. Like, I'm lucky to, to sign in at 1.50. Um, but, but definitely set your alarms. Okay, tip number three, I think, is start fresh. Yeah. And you know this tip is not from me because the tip said, make sure your sewing area is clear of anything that you're not working on and, um, and dust off your machine and make sure it's clean and oiled. So that is totally um, a, a really a good idea. I don't know about cleaning all the space because if you ever seen my work area, you know that's probably not gonna happen in my lifetime, but I wish it could. I strive for that. Um, I, <laughs> Raylene, it is a little bit crazy, but set your alarms, okay girls? And um, if you're new to joining, make sure you type in handmade so you can be entered into the drawings. And next um, we are going to have Suzanne from Calico Cupboard. So we'd like to welcome you, Suzanne. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. How is everybody? Looking I think we're to sharing some great ideas with you today. Perfect, perfect. And I just want everybody to know in case that they they don't haven't been to the actual shows, you have a great set. I think that they're your grandkids that come yeah. and help you. Those boys are yeah. excellent. They're wonderful. You are training them well. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm gonna turn it right over to you because you know what to do. 
Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Welcome everybody to another session of Wild Wednesday Live from the Calico Cupboard. And today, of course, is Christmas in October. And guess what? We have seven weeks left till Christmas. Is that a scary thought or what? So, you know, that's about 63 days left. So don't delay. Get started. If you have things in mind, now's the time to get going. And fortunately, I have some quick and easy things to share with you. But first, we've had some requests to re-demo the um, folded star pattern. Um, and uh, if you've seen me in the past or been to my booth, you know, we have folded star and there's several different um, iterations of it. There's the um, 17 inch center piece and there's the hot pocket, the um, oven mitt, and there's also square and round pot holders, as well as uh, another pattern we have on our website that is a Christmas ornament. And so I have some samples to share with you, and then we'll go through the demo. So here's the 17 inch um, centerpiece. Let me move this out of the way. There you go. This one is a real charmer, very pretty. And then here's our hot pocket. This is the oven, double oven mitt. You can see that two ends and then we have the square pot holder and here's a special Christmassy round pot holder that I just finished to have to show you today so I'm going to demonstrate the seven inch or the round pot holder it's four layers goes really quickly make a real good gift like um the girls have been saying give something that you've made yourself maybe your friends won't tackle this but you can share this with them so i'm going to tip this down so you can see a little bit better as i do the demo i hope we have a little lighting issue as well just like raylene was saying and i have to say it's been so much fun to um, get out to live shows and start seeing some of you who say you watch Wild Wednesday Live. It's so much fun to meet you. You've ordered from me and I love talking with you on the phone. And so it's nice to see you in person as well. So as we get back to shows in 2022 and you come by the booth, don't forget to say, hey, I saw you on Wild Wednesday Live. Okay, so all the patterns with uh, Folded Star come with the template interfacing that has all the lines for you so you know right where to put your fabrics. So this is the four layer uh, small pot holder. Starts with a two inch square in the center and then all the rest of your pieces are prairie points. And a prairie point is actually a folded square of fabric. So you start with the square and the pattern gives you the sizes of the squares. You fold it first lengthwise like this, and then you fold the corners in to make a triangle, and this is called the prairie point. And after you put down your two inch square in the middle, and you're gonna use fabric glue to adhere this to the template. And then when you cut your four prairie points for the first layer, you're also going to run a bead of that glue right down the center here so that it adheres to the template. So first, Going to lay those down and they make the first layer. And you'll notice on the template there is a line that says layer one, and that's where the edges of your, your first prairie points go. So once you have these all in place, then you're going to stitch right down the center here, just a line of stitching on all four of those. That holds them in place, and they're kind of popping up as I'm doing this because I haven't stitched them down, but Next, you go to layer two, and it's good to choose um, some contrast in your fabrics. And I also spray starch my fabrics so that they lay nicely. So now we go to layer two, and there's a line on your pattern that says layer two. So you start with the first four in those north, south, east, west quadrants. So that's the first four. And again, you put a blue, a bead of glue down the back side and that helps hold it in place and then you go to the next four each of the second third and fourth rows have eight remember the first section had four had four of your prairie points so now you're going to stitch down the center on each of these that's hold them in place moving on to layer three 
Again, first four go on. Hope you can see this. And the last four. Don't forget that bead of glue. That's layer three, now layer four. Again, a contrasting color. These all get laid on with your glue. And then you stitch those in place. The next step is to um, mark your circle and you're gonna stitch all the way around the outside edge. And then you're gonna trim off the little edges that stick out. So when you're finished, you have a nice circular pattern. And at this point, you're going to choose um, the backing fabric and a piece of insulated um, interfacing. Uh, or batting, and that's to keep the heat from transferring. So on top, on the bottom side of your finished design, you're going to have underneath here, you're going to have that insulated uh, batting and then your, your backing fabric. And then the instructions call for you to stitch all the way around on this last row. That helps you hold all of your points in place so nothing moves. And after that, you're going to add your binding and stitch that down and you're all set and you have a nice gift to give to one of your special friends. So that's that. Uh, before I go on, I wanted to remind everybody that anybody orders this um, time before Friday, we're gonna also, also add to your order one of our nice three inch small rulers that's made for us by Just Notions as a little free gift for you. It's got a little hole so you can carry it on a keychain, put it in your purse, take it with you as you're shopping for fabric so you can measure if you need to. So don't forget you're gonna get a ruler when you order from us. Now I have some other things to show you that um, you can make quick gifts with. Tip this back up so you can see. This is the time of year that you'll notice things in stores are getting a little sparse because we've all ordered all of our Christmas fabrics last year about this time. And they started arriving in our stores or our, our um, organizations uh, between May and June. And so we've been selling Christmas since that time and it's getting down to the point where there's not a whole lot left. So don't wait. So here's one of the big panels that we do have left. This is, um, a shabby chic kind of thing. It's called tonal texture. So you'll notice that it has some little irregularities in the color around the outside edge and that's designed on purpose that way. So that's the, the one yard panel. And then there's this other panel that has smaller motifs. Now these make great small wall hangings if you wanna give a gift to somebody but you don't wanna spend a lot of time. So don't mess this. This is Gingham Christmas and it's on our website. So check that out. Here's also a smaller, a smaller wall hanging that you can make. It's a really cute Santa Claus, and it goes really nicely on the uh, tabletop stand. And the nice thing about the tabletop stand is it gives you the option to change out as the seasons go. So this happens to be Christmas, but you could do a Valentine's, uh, Easter, Fourth uh, of July. Um, and also uh, Halloween. So don't forget that. Now, as I said, you're gonna find in stores, a lot of things are, are gone now and people have been making uh, advent calendars since the beginning of the year. And so if you've missed out on any of the panels that are available for advent calendars, we have a pattern that you can make out of the fabric that you happen to have in your stash or something you've bought special and includes the panel, pattern for making the pockets, putting the numbers on, and also the ad, the um, appliques for the ho-ho-ho and the snowflakes. So if you've missed out buying the panel, don't, don't hesitate. You can order the pattern from us for the advent calendar. And also don't forget that just the nice thing about fabric I found is even though the designer and the manufacturer may have had an idea what they intended you to use the 
the fabric for, you're not limited by their ideas. You're only limited by your own creativity. So just because it's a panel is supposed to be made for a small wall hanging or even a, a quilt top, you can turn it into, is that upside down? Yep. You can turn it into a pillowcase. So just because it's made for a wall hanging, don't think you can't take that one yard panel and make it into a pillowcase. And what kid wouldn't want a new pillowcase for Christmas? Here's another small wall hanging available on our website. It's actually a bigger panel, but I took one of the smaller motifs and made it into a wall hanging with this cute snowflake hanger for you. Now we do have some other things that don't take very much time. Here's a new pattern. This is called Coaster Ride. And this, let me tip it so you can see, you can make coasters with your holiday fabrics. And the pattern includes the silicone mats for the coasters, as well as the little, oops, this side, as well as a little um, holder for all your coasters. So coaster rides available. There's also a pattern for Jody Houghton's really popular art panels, and she gives you ideas. So here's one of the small bags. And the nice thing about her designs is she also has designed these cute little zipper pulls that coordinate with a lot of her panels. So check out our website for the zipper pulls. And some of you have enjoyed making the soft books for your, your special kids. Here's a Christmas one. This is the night before Christmas. And we do have a few of these left, so don't be left out. Check out the website. If you've got a special child who um, needs to have the story of the night before Christmas. Here's something I saw was nice, new to me. This is called a uh, kitchen scarf. And you know, as we get to the holidays, we're doing a lot of cooking. And I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for my towel. Where do I put my towels? And I wipe my hands off. So this is a good place, a good way to have your towel always handy. And it's also a stash buster because the scarf part is made from three eighths of a yard of fabric. So I'm sure you might have that in your stash, even some Christmassy fabric. And then you just use two washcloths or two small towels. And it's always there, hangs around your neck and it's good for cleaning off your hands. Now, I mentioned Jody Houghton and here's one of her art panels. This is be a good gift for your quilting friends, Quilters Wisdom, those are available. Another small wall hanging. The cute little snowman wall hanging hangs from our snowman hanger and those are available too. Those little panels are, are, are not very expensive. Now it's a good time for Christmas stocking. Maybe have somebody new in your family. They need a Christmas stocking. We have a couple of Christmas stocking panels. This one is more modern and this is a little bit more traditional. And the fun thing I think about the Christmas stocking panels is before you stitch it together, if you trace around it, you can make a pattern so that in the future you will have your own pattern and you don't have to rely on somebody else to provide one for you. So double. Now, you know, when I mentioned that you can do whatever you like with the fabric you buy, a lot of uh, designers are making uh, border prints and they um, look work work wonderfully around the edge of a quilt. But just because it's a border print doesn't mean you have to use it on the edge of a quilt. You can take part of that border print and make a small wall hanging or the same border print and make a placemat. And um, here's a another idea for you. This is actually a banner that we made from one of the panels that's available. And you can see that you can see the bottom part is got a triangle on it. So it's a door banner. Greet your guests as they come in to see you for the holidays. And you know, uh, table runners are really popular also. They're very quick, easy to make, and they make nice gifts. But just because the pattern says it's a table runner, does it have to be a table runner? Or could maybe it be a bed runner? So we took one of the panels we have available with the snowmen and made either a table runner or a bed runner. Again, with a border print. This one was new this year, really pretty. Again, a table runner or a bed runner. And a lot of you in the past have seen this 
Triangle Frenzy Table Runner. This was a new fabric for us this year. Very pretty table runner. Now these are really quick gifts. You can whip them out in an afternoon. Here's another one. This is fallish. Don't forget, we're still fall. Um, here's another table runner. This happens to be a kit that we have available, very springy. And this is the pattern from the Easy Stripe Table Runner, again. Quick and easy border print. Don't forget, we still have Halloween coming. This is an easy, easy table runner or bed runner made using the blocks and then take part of that border print, put it across the top and the bottom. And I think that's about it. I think I've covered everything that I had to share with you. Again, just a reminder that I've enjoyed seeing all of you who watched us on Wild Wednesdays Live. Um, come and see us at the show's beginning in 2022. We look forward to seeing you. I hope you have all have a wonderful holiday season. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, I actually learn more from hosting these events than um, than I would working in the shop. I love the turning the um, border prints into pillows and small projects. Honestly, I've been in this industry for a really long time, and I've never I've never even thought about it. I just use it as a border print. Uh, it's a, it's crazy. But thank you for all of your ideas and inspiration. And we'll bring you back in a few minutes for the um, questions and answers. Look forward to it. All right. So ladies, if you ever miss a live, which we hope you don't because we've now banged it into your head for you to set your alarm clocks. Um, if you ever miss one though, you can always see it on um, our YouTube page. So make sure that you go and click and follow us on YouTube. Make sure you follow us on Facebook um, and go to the quiltcraftsomall.com and support all the vendors there um, because you know, vendors are, um, it's kind of a weird time for vendors because the show's attendance is down. Everything's just kind of weird in the world. So make sure you support them so that they'll be able to do shows next year when everything starts opening up again. Um, all right. And let's see if I have anything else that I'm supposed to tell you. Um, I think that Raylene's kind of given up on me. There's not so many notes and reminders. Um, so I, or maybe she just trusts me to be on my own and think of what I need to say. Um, but why don't we just bring everybody on so we can do questions and answers. This is your turn, girls. If you have anything that you wanted to ask <laughs> any of the um, vendors. Um, let's see. I do have a couple that were typed in ahead of time. Good thing I was keeping notes. Um, Raylene. Ellen Jean wants to know, are the needle threaders for machine needles or for hand needles? They are for hand needles. Um, however, on my website, I have a really good machine needle threader that's by Bowen. If you just go to uh, needle accessories on the website. Perfect. Okay. And then um, Yasmita, what is the website for the quilt show? It's Quilt Pro Connection. So it's www.quiltproconnection, and it's uh, early January, around the 5th to the 7th, three days. It's a virtual show, but it's to the public. There's some wholesale as well in the background that's happening, so you got to sort of sign up and log in, and it's a little bit... Uh, uh, like, I think it's offering quite a few options within that. And I have a feeling, I have a gut feeling that it's going to be a good one because the marketing will be done. It's been prepared months ahead so that uh, we do get a lot of people who have now signed up to be part of it. Perfect. Okay. And then um, Guadalupe says that she gets lots of her fabrics from um, Suzanne. So that's always good to hear. We always love it when we've got fans out there. Um, and, uh, Suzanne, do you sell a kit for the hot pocket oven mitt and what's the cost? Uh, the hot pocket pattern is, what's that? Mean? Hot pocket pattern is nine fifty, and I don't have a kit, but if somebody's interested, um, if they contact me, we can work it out. Perfect. Okay. And then Raylene, are the planners that, um, that you showed us, are they monthly or weekly? Monthly. Monthly. 
Perfect. <laughs> Uh, you know, I need all the help I can get. Month no, I, saw, I saw the comment, so. <laughs> good job. Good job. Um, and let's see. Uh, Linda says, nice show again this week. Thank you all. And Diana wants to know, does Yasmita have a bag that is designed specifically for sewing machine feet? Yes, I do. The code is CA750. It's an excellent sewing machine foot storage bag. I've kept it, I've had it for four years, five years now. And uh, I did give it to about eight sewing machine companies to uh, evaluate it and give me some responses. It's met at least 90% of everyone's needs. And when I see people buying three and four for their various machines across the country, uh, I think it has to be good. They do like it, I must admit. It's 750. And the beauty of all our products, as we've uh, started a new website, every product you see, there'll be a little time lapse video where I personally have filled product in there, removed product. I use that particular one to keep my jewelry and my earrings and stuff. So they're so multifunctional. They work for any occasion and any purpose. So have a look at that particular bag. It's great. Perfect. And can you just say the ID, um, the number for the pouch again, one more time? It's CA255. Perfect. Okay. And then um, I want to, I want to just, again, say thank you everyone for donating the door prizes. Raylene has two people that are going to be winning, um, two digital patriotic panels um, and a goodie bag of gift items. Well, I'm not sure. Raylene, you have to clarify. Is the digital panel inside the goodie bag or? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Two people are going to get a goodie bag of items that I showed today. And a third person is going to get those digital panels with some other goodies in it. Oh, my gosh. Well, I just didn't I just didn't believe that you were getting out three goodies. You're well, we we were short because, you know, we always say we give a minimum of five and we were short today. So I filled in. So oh my gosh, I, one of these days I'll try to not be such a slacker. Uh, well, you know, but then you wouldn't be you and I would I wouldn't even know how to react. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> that's exactly. why we're a good team. We're so opposite. <laughs> that's what makes us a good team. <laughs> right. And then, um, yes, Mita is donating an ID pouch, which everybody is probably keeping their fingers crossed to win. And then um, Suzanne has an assorted patterns. So uh, the goodie bags are always, um, the, the raffles and door prizes are always, I think, everybody's favorite part. I think they just tune in just to see what they can win. Um, oh, Evelyn says, no stroking, uh, no stroking out, <laughs> Raylene. I know, I know. It's hard to work with me. Um, and it's not that hard. All the ladies are saying thank you for a great show and great inspiration. And thank you for all the generous donations. And um, Holly, the, the um, door prizes will be announced in a few hours. Probably, I would say, by 6 o'clock for sure. Um, just depending because Raylene goes in. I don't know how she does it, but I would say she probably goes in by hand and writes down everybody's name and puts them in a bowl and draws it yeah. out. Actually, I write everybody's name down and then I type them into a, a wheel of fortune online and spin the wheel. But it's really, I've been doing it so long now, almost a year, that actually it doesn't take me that long. And honestly, I'll probably have the winners up by about four o'clock. Oh my gosh. I, you guys all need to thank Raylene. She puts so yeah. much time into this. <laughs> She's crazy. She puts so much time into this. Um, but no, it's it, we actually do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, Sandy says she hopes to see us in Puyallup. But before Puyallup, girls, for all of you that are near Tucson, um, the Tucson show is November 1st through the 3rd, I think. Well, that's like you're given travel time and everything here. Now it's like, um, hang on. I've got it right here. <laughs> I, we've done so many shows. It's all oh, a big blur at this point. It is the 4th, 5th, and 6th. Okay, 4th, 5th, and 6th, Tucson. Where is it at in Tucson? It is at the Expo Center on Irvington Drive or Irvington Road. Okay, and if they come in and see you, because I won't be there. Oh, um, you're not? I, no, Wait I need a minute. A Why is this the first time hearing of this on the air? Oh, um, well, I need a little bit yeah. of a break. I need some <laughs> yes, recovery time. We've yes, done so do. many back-to-back -back shows. It's exhausting. Um, but I will be in Puyallup. Um, 
Okay, so we want to remind you girls to share, share, share with all your friends, all your quilt guilds, anybody that you think would be interested in learning and being inspired, share this with them so that they'll join us. Um, oh my gosh, people are going ahead. In Tucson, they can order tickets in advance, correct? I'm pretty Actually, sure. No. And the okay. reason is it's, it's free. <laughs> free. <laughs> that particular building, they get such a good deal on it, unlike, you know, Phoenix and some of the others that are quite expensive. So in the Tucson show, it's not only free admission, but it's free parking. So it's it's a really a great deal. And for those of you that are going, I'm sorry, I don't mean to step all over Beth here, but um, no, you're if fine. you're every day if you're in line by 9 45 we show it opens at 10 but if you're in line by 9 45 then you can participate in the early bird cash giveaway where they divide 500 dollars in various amounts among 20 people who are in line so be sure if you're coming to tucson get there by 9 45 so you can be part of that drawing perfect and nicole says she'll be in tucson with wine you know we love that <laughs> um, Yay. um okay let's see um, I think that that is, oh, what do they need to, when they come to visit you in your booth, what do they need to say? You just come up and say, I get wild with you on Wednesday and uh, we've got a special prize for you. So remember, you've got to say the phrase though. We're not going to, you can't just walk up and go, hey, I saw you and I was supposed to say something and I don't remember. That's not going to fly. And We've been I, doing this long enough yes. now. You should know the phrase that pays, just like the radio stations used to do. Yeah, isn't I it get wild. how many forget the phrase? It's not that yes. hard, girls. Write it on, write your, it on your Write it on your hand. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> okay. Does anybody else have any questions while well, we've got Yasmita and Suzanne on the line? I think that you guys did a thorough job. So I think that they are, I think everybody's questions are answered. All well, right. Thank you. Thank you, Leander. I just saw your comment. I appreciate that. All right. Perfect, girls. So join in, set your alarms for next Wednesday at 2 o'clock, 1.50, so you're not late. Um, and we, <laughs> we will see you then. Go home and sew and get some, some projects done so you'll be inspired and ready to, to get busy for the next vendors. All right. I think that that's all we have. Suzanne and Yasmito, do you want to say anything else? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Bye. Happy Bye. holidays, everyone. Thank you for watching. Yep. All right. Thank you. We'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.